Hey everybody, Scott here for GE300 videos. Another day of fun short tutorials. This one might not be so short. I got a bunch of guitars, well, two. I've got the James Tyler JTV59, formerly a Variax. It's been gutted. No more Variax shenanigans going on here. It's just straight up electric guitar. I've replaced so much on this thing. Literally the only thing left was the body and neck wood. I even replaced the fingerboard, the frets, the pickups, all the wiring, the tuners, the nut, the bridge, and put a pickguard on it. And the pickups, of course. So this is completely... And the switch! There's nothing that uh, <laughs> really left from the original except the uh, some wood. And my 1989 slash 1991, I've been a saber. Uh, in 2009, I got this from uh, some parts on eBay. The neck was a 91, the body an 89, and the the uh, bridge from a 1988 RG560. Hmm, yeah. So, put this together from fun parts, put Tom Anderson pickups in it, and painted it myself. I painted this one too, so it's just what I do. Anyway, today I'm going to use the tone capture to make the uh, JTV59 sound like the Sabre, and the Sabre sound like the JTV59. Pretty slick. Shall we? All right, now to capture the sound of the JTV-59 so we can play it on the Sabre. I have moved the tone capture to the uh, second thing in the uh, signal path, right next to the synth. I just like it right there. Eh, it's out of the way. Those two things I don't think ever need to move. And press the tone cap button. Now there's three things to do. Uh, actually, there's several things. There's the learning guitar. There's the, uh, the banks over here. Oops. You can come to the bank over here and then uh, choose from the ones that you've saved. I haven't saved any. So we're just going to go back. Whoops. Go back over here to learning guitar. Now what we do is we'll hit the target button and play for about 18 seconds or however long it goes. And just play all out. Play as much around the neck as you possibly can. And uh, just give it a big sampling of everything, including the bottom end. Away we go. And that's that. Sloppy, but effective. All right, now the next thing to do, hit the source button, which is the B on the bottom, play this for about 18 seconds, and then move on. And there's that. Now we hit the active button, the C button. Give her a listen. There you go. The sound of the JTV-59 on the 1989-91 slash Ibanez Sabre. Pretty slick. Now let's do the, uh, the opposite. Shall we? All right, to get the sound of the Sabre on the JTV-59, we gotta start with this one. Like before, hit the target button and jam. <laughs> Now 
Now, hitting the source button, play the JTV-59. <laughs> And, all right, so I'm gonna play a little bit of this, mainly the bottom notes, because they're the things that change the most, I believe. The, the bottom end and the low mids. There you go, everybody, the first video of the day. I know I planned on doing this one yesterday, but uh, it kind of got away from me. I got a little bit of a late start today, up early, taking care of business. Uh, may not get three videos done today, but two for sure. And the tone capture is a really fun uh, option on the GE300, and it opens up a lot of possibilities. If you've got a large guitar collection, yet, you know, taking them all to a bar doesn't really work for you. You can capture the sounds, use them on whatever you, whatever guitar you do bring. I tend to bring the uh, the JTP59 for all my gigs, so but there's times when I would like the Sabre sound because it's tight, it's focused, it lacks, uh, it doesn't have the same girth as the uh, JTP59, which can actually make it sit in a mix better in certain songs, in certain situations. Sometimes you just want, you know, a guitar that doesn't have quite so much low mids and uh, bottom end to it to fit. Other times this one is the, is the man and I use it for all the gigs. So, but sounding like the Sabre from time to time and maybe even the Parker. There's a Parker over there. Don't you look at me like that. Anyway, I'll be back later today with some more. I don't know what. Come on back. Don't forget, subscribe, share, like, all that good stuff. I'll see you in a little bit and until then.